Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this festive beaded ring. It's easy to make and I'm showing you step by step and I'm also providing a pattern in the tutorial so it will be easy for you to make it. Here I use 11 all seed beads, you could use 10 all seed beads if you want and you could turn this into a bracelet and use a larger size of beads as long as the both color of beads are the same. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could always like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials Links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads and you could use 10 o seed beads or 8 o seed beads as long as both colors are from one and the same size it doesn't matter and here i use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle and scissors and you could use pliers to go through the difficult beads if you need to and here i'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle and i'll be back guys and i'm back and i'm going to start my work following this pattern that you could see at the left corner and I will start it by first picking up seven beads of this beautiful red color. Okay, here guys, I have my seven beads and I'm going to slide those down like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take three red beads, one golden and three red beads okay so this is another seven this is what i have on my needle and i'm going to slide those down as well and as you may see these are the first two rows of my pattern here if you could follow them the first and the second one okay now i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made and then I want to make one more knot like this and now guys my first two rows are ready okay but I will need an additional step to make them stay nice and tight okay i'm exiting out of this golden bead which is the middle of my seven in this row and i want to connect this bead to the central bead of my first row okay and how i'm finding this one two three this is the fourth one in my first row Okay, like this and then my thread goes in this direction and again through this golden and after the golden I need to go through three more beads just like that I'm pulling those rows together and I'm taking one golden like this and I'm going back in circle through the whole first row okay and then one golden which will be the edge color and going back in circle through this row here through as many beads as I can in one movement Okay, and I have my two rows set up and now I'm going to start with my third row. And for my third row, 
as you may see here at the pattern, I need two red beads, one golden, one red, one golden, and two red beads. Okay, this is my third row. Okay, and I'm going back in circle through those beads here. Okay, I'm exiting here in the middle, in the central bead, and now I want to connect this central bead with this one, okay, like this, then like this, and one more time in this direction to add the edge color of my work okay taking the edge color and one more time in this direction okay i've been tr too many times through the second row That is why I will go here again through those beads. Outside row. And I need to add one golden. Go through this red here. You could go only through the first thread and not through your whole row because you know you've been too many times through it and it's difficult. Okay, now in a, I'm in a position to start my fourth row. And for my fourth row, I'm going to be alternating, alternating red and golden. One red, one golden. One red, one golden. One red, one golden. And one red and I still have here seven beads okay and what I want to do is go here through these beads in this direction and connect the middle beads here I'm exiting out of this middle red bead here between my two goldens and I'm going to connect it with this middle golden of my next row. Okay. And I'm going here. Then I'm going back here. Okay, like that. Then in my outside row. Okay, and I'm going to take a golden one and go through those beads. Then in my outside row, because it's difficult to go through the inner row, I've been through many times through it. And I'm exiting here at the edge where I'm adding one golden. And I could go through one or two beads from this row. And my goal is to exit out of the next row. Okay. Now I have the third row ready. And now I'm going to repeat them backwards. This one, this one, and this one. You could see here or you could watch from here. Okay, and now I need two red beads. One golden, one red, one golden, and two red beads. And this makes them seven again. Okay, seven. And I'm going back in circle through those beads here. 
and I will connect the central beads. And I continue in the same way, adding the edge beads. Okay, now I need to add this row. You could see it here as well. And uh, three reds, one golden, three reds. Okay. Go back. Okay guys, now I have my first element ready and I will continue making more and more elements with spacers of seven red beads between them and I will make let's say five elements. I think this will be enough for my finger but if you have larger fingers you could make six elements or play with the spacers so add two uh, plain red rows between your elements or three plain um, red rows between your elements and in this way you will have the desired land okay uh, when my thread is over i will make a knot cut it and add a new thread and i'm showing this in a lot of tutorial if you don't know how write me in the comments and i'll link to a place where i'm adding more thread okay so i will continue this and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your ring okay guys and now my work is long enough to wrap it around my finger i made five of these beautiful elements okay you see it works for this finger or for this one and now what i want to do is connect it and in order to connect it here I need to meet those two rows, okay? This one and this one. Okay, and first I'm going to take one golden bead and as I'm exiting from this red one here at the edge, I will go through those three beads, four beads, sorry, to reach the center of my seven, okay? Then what I do is that I want to connect this middle part like I did before, this golden bead with the central red bead. Okay, I'm exiting out of the central red bead here. And what I do is that I go back through it in this direction. Okay, just like that. Then guys, I go through all of those three red beads. Here I need one golden, like that. I'm adding it here. And I want to go through my whole row one more time. Okay. Then guys, if this is the front part of my work, I want to go somewhere at the back of my ring here at this side. And I want to make a knot here, okay? And I'm making my knot at the back. You could always turn it, by the way. 
which one is the back, which one is the front. You could switch the front and back depending on where it looks better. Okay. And I'm going twice through the loop that I made here. And I'm going through the following seed bead like that. And I could repeat this several times if I need to. Then I will cut my thread. And now guys, my festive beaded ring is ready. Okay, so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find full list of materials Links where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.